India has shocked the world by becoming the fourth nation to successfully land on the moon. But what they discovered on the lunar surface is something that has astonished scientists around the world, including Neil deGrasse Tyson. What could this mysterious discovery be? What did India find on the dark side of the moon? Could this discovery help humanity or is it something that should have remained a secret? Let's find out. On July 14th, the Indian Space Research Organization ESRO, launched its third lunar exploration mission, named Chandrayaan-3. This mission had similar goals and equipment to their previous lunar attempt, which unfortunately ended in a crash. This time, however, the lander successfully descended and safely landed on the lunar surface. At 8.32 a.m. Eastern Time, the lander completed its descent and touched down near the lunar South Pole region after a 19-minute journey from lunar orbit. This achievement is significant for India, as it now joins the United States, China and the former Soviet Union in accomplishing a successful soft landing on the Moon. It's especially impressive considering the relatively low budget allocated for this mission. In the lead-up to India's successful lunar landing with Chandrayaan-3, Russia faced a setback when its Lunar 25 lander crashed into the Moon due to engine burn issues. This incident underscored the significant challenges and complexity involved in lunar landings. ISRO accomplished this feat through carefully planned maneuvers. They gradually raised the lander's orbit, culminating in a crucial burn on July 31st that set the lander, Vikram, on a path toward the Moon. Over the next five days, Vikram traveled through space, getting closer to the lunar surface. On the fifth day of the journey, Vikram entered lunar orbit, preparing for the planned landing attempt on August 23rd. Even in lunar orbit, Vikram used its propulsion module for precise engine burns. These adjustments brought it into a circular orbit about 60 miles above the lunar surface, a week earlier than planned. The pivotal moment came on August 17th, when the lander separated from its propulsion module. This marked the start of the final phase, aiming for a safe landing within a designated zone measuring 2.4 by 1.5 miles. To prepare, ISRO's scientists divided the landing area into 3,900 equal-size sections, evaluating each for safety and suitability. This meticulous assessment provided crucial data for ensuring a secure lunar landing. Hey Spacers, before you go bouncing all over the moon, take a second to hit the subscribe button. And even though there is no sound in space, click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. Thank you for watching our videos. We love you to the moon and back. In the critical moments leading to the lunar landing, the lander's onboard computer followed a specific protocol. If it was above the planned landing zone, it would find the safest subsection within that area and proceed to land. But if it deviated, it would switch to autonomous mode, relying on its own hazard assessment based on captured images instead of the pre-programmed plan. As the lander descended to about 150 meters above the lunar surface, it hovered for about half a minute, carefully examining the terrain below for any hazards. It determined that the surface beneath it was not safe. In response, the lander autonomously found a safer nearby area and landed there, ensuring a secure landing. After the landing, the Indian Prime Minister announced India's presence on the moon. The lander touched down at 69.37 degrees south latitude and 32.35 degrees east longitude, making it the highest latitude at which any spacecraft had ever successfully soft landed on the moon. During the descent, SA's Estrac Deep Space Tracking Station in Australia provided crucial support by offering additional tracking serving as a backup for ISRO's own ground station and aiding the successful lunar landing.
Moreover, the lander established contact with the previous mission's orbiter, which had been orbiting the Moon since 2019. This orbiter plays a vital role in communication, enabling data transmission and ensuring smooth communication with mission control on Earth. This mission marked India's second attempt to land near the Moon's South Pole, a region of great interest for scientists and space enthusiasts. The South Pole area is relatively unexplored and holds potential because of the expected presence of water ice. Accessing this water ice could be crucial for future crewed missions, serving purposes like rocket fuel and life support. India's initial lunar landing attempt in September 2019 ended in failure due to a software glitch. But despite this setback, India successfully prepared for the next mission with a tight budget of $75 million. To ensure success, significant changes were made. The landing strategy was altered with onboard algorithms recalibrated to provide the spacecraft flexibility while maintaining the capability for a safe landing. The target landing zone was enlarged. Vikram's legs were strengthened to endure higher landing speeds and dynamic engines were implemented to adjust the spacecraft's velocity for a smoother touchdown. After a successful lunar landing, the Vikram lander deployed a compact rover which started exploring the lunar terrain, analyzing soil and rocks. The rover's wheels bore a religious symbol, a wheel with 24 spokes as seen on the Indian flag and ISRO's logo. ISRO aimed to imprint these symbols on the moon's surface during the rover's exploration, where they would endure for years. Scientifically, the mission made significant discoveries, some of which left renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson in utter shock. The lander's thermal probe found that the moon's surface temperature decreases notably just a few centimeters below the regolith. The rover used a laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, LIBS, and identified elements like sulfur, aluminum, calcium, iron, chromium, titanium, manganese, silicon, and oxygen. Some of these were expected, while others were surprising, indicating a diverse lunar composition. Neil deGrasse Tyson expressed his excitement for India's lunar missions, Chandrayaan 2 and 3, recognizing their significance. These missions placed India among the elite nations that have soft landed on the moon, and India's focus on exploring the moon's south pole set it apart. Despite setbacks during Chandrayaan 2, Tyson encouraged resilience, viewing failures as opportunities to try again with renewed vigor. In 2023, India's Chandrayaan 3 mission succeeded, landing near the unexplored South Pole, a significant achievement lauded by Tyson. He emphasized the scientific importance of the Moon's South Pole, likening it to a gold mine for researchers and a potentially valuable source of essential resources for humanity. The permanently shadowed craters might contain water ice, vital for life and potential rocket fuel. Sunlit peaks offer solar energy opportunities. Additionally, ancient rocks here provide valuable insights into the Moon and Earth's intertwined history. However, it remains to be seen who will be the one to claim the riches of the Moon for themselves. What do you think, Spacers? Should the resources on the Moon be used to advance humanity or should they be left alone? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.